Hey, Spencer Sutton with Evernest, and today I want to talk to you about the things that you need to think about when you go from a homeowner to a landlord. So these are the really important things that I think that a lot of times it's easy to not think about very carefully. So before I begin and tell you what these are, I do want to let you know we have a cash flow calculator. You can download it on our website, evernest.co, and it'll help you think through a lot of these things. So a couple of things that people don't think about that I think they should. Number one is maintenance. Now you are going to have maintenance in this house unless it's a brand new build or unless you just went through a major renovation then you may not have any kind of repairs for the first 12 to 18 months but if that's not the case if you just you know if you painted the walls and put new carpet in and fixed up your house and your house is 10 20 30 50 60 70 years old then you are going to have maintenance to deal with so you need to think about that and account for that in your number so as you're collecting rent you need to be setting some aside for different maintenance items that come up that's one thing another thing is how your taxes change. Most of the time, homestead taxes are much different than non-homestead taxes, so you need to understand what those are and account for those in your number. And then the third thing is, that I think is a little bit more subjective, and that's your resident is not going to think about repairs the same way you think about repairs as a homeowner. Now, some of you listening to this may be very, very good about fixing every single thing that goes wrong in your house, right? You have a doorknob that sticks and you fix it. Like it drives you crazy if you don't fix it. Well, that's not me and that's not a lot of people. And so what happens is they think, well, the house is fine, it's ready to rent. And so when a resident moves in, what happens is they get a phone call or they get a, you know, an email saying, hey, this doorknob keeps sticking. And you as a homeowner were thinking, well, I, I've lived with that for 10 years. It never really bothered me. That doesn't mean it's not going to bother the resident. And so you need to think about those types of things. So I would, I would create a long checklist of everything in your house, walk through, make sure it works right, make sure it's not sticking, not broken, and it just functions properly the way it should. Now, if we can help you with anything, if we can give you some advice, if we can even walk through your house, we'd be happy to do that and give you some of our thoughts on your property. Property, you can reach out to us at sales at evernest.co and we'd be happy to help.